All right, we're going to now practice translating some sentences into equations. Now look at our, our, our directions here. They say write the sentence as an equation. Use x to represent a number. So we've already identified our variable here for these first sets of problems. Every time we use an x, we're going to be representing some number that we don't know. Now let's look at our first problem. It says a number added to negative 5 is negative 7. These are just translation problems like you've done before. It does not say solve anything. It just says write it as an equation. That's all. So let's see. We have to use x to represent some number that we don't know. So a number would be x added to, that's a key word for to add, and then we have a negative 5. Is is a key word for equals. And then we have negative 7. We have written the sentence as an equation. We're done. We don't have to do anything else. Now the next problem says twice the sum of negative 17 and a number is negative 14. Well, twice means two times. The sum of negative 17 and a number, that's telling us to add up two things, and those two things are negative 17 and some unknown number. Well, we already said we were going to say x instead of a number. Is is a key word for equals, and then we have negative 14. Now, it, you really don't have to write times and then the parentheses you can just put the parentheses. That means multiplication, and it looks a little bit better. So our final answer would be 2 times negative 17 plus x as a quantity equals negative 14. All right, the next problem. Now let's look at our directions again. It says translate each to an equation. So same thing that we were doing before. But now look, it says then solve the equation very, very important. Now we have to take it one step further. We are still letting x represent our unknown number. So our problem here says the sum of, which means that we're going to be adding some things. And what things are we going to be adding? 3, 4, and a number. So we're going to add 3 plus 4 plus some unknown number. Then we have amounts to, which is an, a keyword for equals, 16. This is our equation. We have now translated that. But now our directions say, then go ahead and solve it. So we're going to combine like terms. 3 and 4 would give us 7, plus x equals 16. And we still have to get x alone. So we're going to subtract 7 from both sides to get x equals 9. Now x equals 9, what does that mean? Well, since we let x represent some number that we don't know, the x equals 9 means the number is 9. This is interpreting your answer to make sure that it makes sense in the problem. The next problem says the difference of a number and 3 is equal to the quotient of 10 and 5. So translating first, we have the difference, which is a subtraction, of a number and 3, so that tells us to subtract x minus 3, is equal to, is a keyword for equals, the quotient is a division keyword, and what are we dividing here? 10 and 5. We now have our, uh, our equation set up. We just have to go through and simplify. So we have x minus 3 equals 10 divided by 5 is 2. When we add 3 to both sides, we get x equals 5. And that means that the number, or our unknown amount, is 5. The last one here, pretty quickly, says 3 times the difference of some number and 5 amounts to the quotient of 108 and 12. 3 times would be 3 times. The difference of some number and 5 would be x minus 5. Amounts to is a key word for equals. The quotient of is a division, 108 and 12. So we need to go ahead and do our distribution and then finish solving the equation to end up with x equals 8.